In this episode, we review Monster Juice, talk about how to learn basic form of barbell lifts if you've never been in a gym and should you hire a personal trainer. And we talk about why I stopped bulking, how hurt I am, and the fact that I am now losing body fat over the last two weeks. Hello everybody, welcome to Eagles and Alternatives, episode 97. I'm your host, Mike Bacanti. Today we are reviewing not creatine, which, like, when you mix creatine in with something, it isn't mixable, right? It's not soluble and liquid, so you're always gonna end up with some of that grainy texture in the drink, and if it's something you enjoy, like a protein shake, for me, that makes the protein shake taste a little bit not as good, and I would rather taste something uncomfortable for like three seconds like I just did rather than taste something moderately bad for the duration of my shake. We have this book, Total Recall, Arnold Schwarzenegger Autobiography. I started reading it yesterday. Thought it added a little color to the show. Monster Juice. So yesterday I was walking through the gas station about to pick up a, another drink which may or may not be our alternative today and saw this monster juice but interesting it's got this little like hippie little thing on it pipeline punch it's called it's called juice it was in the sugar-free section so we had the white can the blue can the red can I believe the orange can and then this was mixed right in there and I wondered if it was some how a zero calorie juice which it is obviously not what I will say that I like about this is that on the label, what they did is, and I don't know if this is um, a monster thing or if this is mandated by the US government in certain situations, but they listed the per can nutrition, right? So oftentimes you'll put serving size three down the left and then you have one third of the calories and information for what is in there, which a lot of people just don't look at nutrition labels or don't look very closely and so they see calories on there and don't think, oh, there's three servings in this can. There's actually only two in this one. Um, but I thought that was pretty cool. It's, it's equal to anything, right? It's equal to any soda, it's equal to any sugary drink, it's equal to any other juice, and juice basically equals pop. I don't even know what we're gonna use. I think probably a Sprite and a half, approximately. Um, but I just have these two Pepsis because that was the extent of the soda in my fridge. Not much else to say, right? Like if you're going for this, I assume you are going for the caffeine and I guess we can taste it. It's really just a waste of 50 carb and I'm also not bulking currently, which we'll get into in a second. Extremely sweet, tastes really, really good. Um, but again, I would rather go with the sugar-free alternative. White Monster is the best, 140 milligrams of caffeine. Let's link down in the description, three White Monsters equals a Starbucks large coffee, which I reviewed in the Hamptons this summer. Um, yeah, like not a ton to say here. There's a, they use erythritol as the sweetener, and that is, based on everything we know, a little bit safer than other artificial sweeteners, again, none of these have been around long enough to have enough long-term data about how they affect the human body. I don't know what to tell you, your doctor doesn't know what to tell you, no one actually knows how this affects you. If you drink a ton of this shit over 40 or 50 years, how that is gonna change your life or your health or what diseases you may or may not get or what superpowers you may or may not get, we just don't know, they haven't been in the diet long enough. So I recommend for my clients, for people who ask me, for family, friends, whatever, Moderation, be smart. I probably drink four of these a week. Um, and I, I don't like fearing things or avoiding things that are unknown. So I'm never gonna tell someone to abstain from these because based on what we know, this is fine. But like I said, we don't know what happens if you drink 10 monsters a day for 10 years. So be smart, don't be an idiot. 
also 140 milligrams of caffeine. I think that's about it as far as this goes. Um, I mentioned that I'm not bulking, which is so depressing. I So I talked about my elbow before on the show and after 11 days off of lifting, got back in. Greg O'Gallagher, Greg O'Gallagher, Kino Body's Greek God program, tried hitting the incline bench day and like just pain here, pain here, it was, it was brutal. Um, so I got through the day on lighter weight, but then really went back to the drawing board, like, okay, what's going on? Why does my shoulder hurt so much? I thought it was an elbow thing from like arm wrestling, some other things going on, but I believe it's bicep tendonitis which I'm now doing 15 minutes rehab, two times a day for. I'm avoiding overhead movement, so overhead pulling, pull-ups, uh, dumbbell overhead press. I'm not even inclined pressing anymore. I have gotten back in the gym, um, but like today, later today, I'm gonna do a flat dumbbell bench and see where I can bring, like I think I can get up with intensity, but just no overhead stuff. And in that vein, when I had to take 11 days off, I mean, I was kind of sick of eating an absurd amount of food. I know that sounds bratty, especially for those of you who are trying to lose body fat, so I'm sorry, but not being able to lift, I was like, screw, normally I would say stay at maintenance, evaluate, but I was, if I have the opportunity to lose two pounds a week because I'm fine not eating very much food, I'm fine zeroing in on work stuff, um, even if I lose a half pound of muscle in the process, I was willing to do that just because I'm vain and I was sick of eating 4,000 calories for 12 weeks. So that's where I am now, slowly getting back into my training. If that interested you at all. Question of the day. Question of the day is from Mystery. Mystery question of the day because I did not record his or her name. Basically what we have here is a beginner who has not lifted weights in the gym who knows and is very aware of the stigma that commercial gym personal trainers has but doesn't feel comfortable going in there and just starting lifting on his or her own. Um, while I'm sure a weightlifting based gym would be more beneficial, okay. I'm not able, so not able to get to anything other than a commercial gym absolutely determined to get started already started counting my macros I really want to make this change thank you so yes there are a lot of bad personal trainers right I actually have an article on this that I'm gonna post very soon called do certifications matter for personal trainers we've all seen the BOSU ball squats we've all seen like the dumb stuff the trainers do we know that it takes two hours at a Prometric Center, taking an exam to get a certification, that's it, it's a piece of paper. I think it means absolutely nothing to be perfectly honest other than if you want to be a trainer in a gym and the gym has a requirement for you to become a certified personal trainer, then yeah, get your cert, but you're not gonna learn much in the process, I would imagine. That being said, for a beginner looking to learn the basics, I am absolutely fine with you hiring a trainer in the gym. What I would do before that is a few things. First, the internet is an amazing place for learning and the market generally takes care of the weeding out good versus bad information process. And what I mean by that is if you look up, like it's called the five most basic lifts on YouTube, what SEOs first, when you type in barbell back squat form video, I would guess most of the videos on the first page are gonna be pretty good. And if they're not, you can look at the likes and dislikes, and if a video has equal likes and dislikes, that's the market policing and saying, hey, this idiot doesn't know what a squat is, go to a different video. And you're gonna go to a different video, maybe it'll be by someone like Eric Cressy or Tony Gentlecore or some of these guys who are really good, and if you Google their names and you try to Google bad reviews, you're not gonna find anything because the guys are just smart, they're legit. And you'll see, 150 likes, one dislike. It's like, oh, okay, and this has 60,000 views. I'll listen to this six minute squat tutorial. Oh, this seems good. Go to the gym. If you want to try to go without a trainer, I would start with very lightweight. I would be very cautious about how you feel. Um, I would always err on the side of not hurting yourself. And what I would do is I, was I would record with your phone a video and post that somewhere, post that in a community that you interact with. Post that to my Facebook page. Send it to a friend who lifts. Like 
there are a lot of places you can do this. Photocracy, you can post form videos on there, you'll get great feedback for free, and ask how you're doing. Um, if you don't feel super comfortable going that route, I would ask around if people know good personal trainers in your area or have recommendations for where to go. Um, and I know certain parts or certain countries, certain cities within certain countries, certain states don't have a ton of options. If you really want a trainer, yeah, go ahead, roll the dice. Like they're going to know more than you, but don't get suckered into buying 20 sessions. Like buy a, do a single session or buy four pack of sessions, go in, tell him or her exactly what you want to do and what you want to get out of it. And still do your YouTube, your internet research on form before going in. Um, and try to get the most out of those sessions. So that's my advice. Do your research, err on the side of not hurting yourself very light, take form videos, upload them, listen to feedback. Um, and it's a learning process, right? Like everyone's learning, I'm still learning, no one knows it all, so we're all trying to get better. But I would start, you said you haven't started quite yet, you started counting your macros, I would start now. I would like. Monday. I'm filming this on Friday. I'm going to email you, mystery person. I'm going to find you. I'm going to send this to you. I'm going to say, here's the question of the day. Your question is answered. Skip to four minute, 38 second mark and go. And then I want you in the gym on Monday. I want you at least looking for gyms on Monday. Okay, let's go. Let's get started. Rainy day here in New York. Gary V is in London. I have three days not training him, which makes me kind of sad because I'm trying to get him jacked and three days off doesn't help. But what can you do? By the way, the golden era is over. I no longer respond to all of my email. Um, yeah, it was just time. I actually have like maybe a hundred left to get it all the way down and get completely caught up back to the beginning of September. But from that point forward, we're gonna have Chris, we're gonna have a support email, we're gonna have a lot of other things going on, but I just, it doesn't make sense for me to spend three hours a day responding to email. Um, that time is better spent creating content that everyone can use. And then eventually I should have an answer or hope to have an answer to every single question. You can be linked to this article I wrote that I put a lot of time into rather than half-assing an email. Not that I half-ass emails, but. All right, that's it. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. If you watch this entire video, leave me a comment, say hi, tell me what you are most excited about in your life or like one of the top five things. For me, it is the Vikings-Broncos game on Sunday in Denver. Remember, your body is still counting macros even if you're not.